continuation on the topic in fundamental surveying under horizontal curves. So what are horizontal curves? Um, um, example of this, if you try to towards ah, let's say if you are in dito sa may Send it to see <clears throat> New York. We have here KSC. Then this road is towards Kalinga National High School. So, mapapansin nyo if you enter this towards LTO, may mga pa-curve dito. Right? So, this is an example of a horizontal curve. We use the concept of horizontal curve, especially on highways. And so, Ang gagawin ko ngayon is I'm not going to um, discuss horizontal curve detail by detail. I'm just going to take the topics that I hope can be useful during your, in your uh, highway engineering. Okay? So, there are types of horizontal curves. First, we have a uh, simple curve. A simple curve is obviously uh, uh, curve wherein this is an example of a uh, uh, simple curve so since this is a curve mayroon siyang radius we have also a compound curve a compound curve is a combination of simple curves actually dalawang simple curve yun so for compound curve let's say that is a simple curve Pag nag-add ka pa ng isang simple curve, okay, so that, may nakikita niyo yung figure, that's an example of the compound curve. So, ang compound curve, again, it is a combination of two simple curves, especially ito ay uh, ginagamit natin. If for a certain road, hindi, hindi pwedeng isang radius lang ang gagamitin mo to reach a certain point. So, kailangan natin mag-compound curve. Another is the reverse curve. Reverse curve naman from that word reverse. This is an example of a reverse curve. So, dalawang, com dalawang simple curve din ang reverse curve. Kaya lang, magkaiba sila ng direction. So, you can see dito sa mga example natin, yung isa nakakonkave, yung isa nakakonvex. Lastly, another type of horizontal curve is the spiral curve. When we say spiral, hindi siya yung, yung nasa isip natin na uh, parang stairs na nakaspiral. Ang spiral curve kasi is com um, com compose or combination siya ng maraming simple curves. So, for example, ganito ang spiral curve. Maraming combinations ng simple curves. Nagagamit ba ang spiral curve? Yes, it is very uh, widely used ang spiral curves. Especially kapag yung ating kalsada is, sabi ko nga kanina, mahirap na iisang radius lang ang gagamitin mo. Especially in mountainous areas dito sa Cagillera. Most of our roads here are spiral. Most of the roads, ang ginagamit natin na horizontal curve ay spiral curve. So, isa-isahin natin itong mga types of horizontal curves na ito. Let's start with simple curve. So, for simple curve, let's have this example. Uh, that is a, if I'm going to draw uh, two lines, and I'm going to connect these two lines with a curve. Yung points, yung dalawang lines na dinrowing natin is, we call that a tangent line. Lines, I mean. 
the those points are points of tangency. So yung first point dito, we call that the point of curvature. The second point is the the point of tangency. Okay? Then if I'm going to to draw a line that is uh, naka 90 degrees or naka perpendicular doon sa may tangent line, that is the radius of your curve. Ulitin natin. If I'm going to draw lines na naka, naka perpendicular doon sa may tangent lines, that is the radius of your curve. Okay? Bakit, bakit naka 90 degrees yan? As you have learned during your geometry, for under the topic in arcs and circles, natouch itong topic nito. Okay? So, that is the radius. Again, ang radius natin, always naka-perpendicular siya doon sa may tangent. And so, this, itong, itong mga pamepresent po sa inyo, these are the elements of a simple curve. So, if I'm going to connect your PC and your PT, yan yung tinatawag nating chord. Diba, na pag aralan natin during your geometry, any line that does not pass through the, the center of the circle, that is a chord. Then, yung, yung point kung saan nag-meet yung dalawang tangent, that is your vertex. In other books, they term this as the point of intersection, PI. Ulitin ko, yung line ay yung point kung saan nag-meet si yung dalawang tangent. We call that the vertex or in others, other books, they refer this as the point of, in, of intersection. Then, itong angle na to, that yung deflection angle na yan between the vertex and the tangent line, that we call that your intersecting angle. And you have also learned during your geometry, if that is an intersecting angle, I can also say that this angle here is the is also the same as the intersecting angle. Now, if I'm going to draw a line that will connect my vertex and the center of my radio, of my curve, ang center ng aking curve ay itong point na to. Pakita ko lang. Yung center ng aking circle ay ito. Ito yung circle ng, ay ito yung center ng aking circle. So, if I'm going to connect my vertex and the center of my circle, mapapansin ninyo, hinati niya sa dalawa yung ating intersecting angle. Okay? Ulitin ko. Yung, if I'm going to draw a line that will connect the center of my, my uh, curve and the vertex, the intersecting angle is divided by 2. Okay? The same, since yung ating line na nag-connect kay vertex and the center of the circle is, um, it divided the intersecting angle into two. The same, it follows that the co that the yung chord natin na hatid sa dalawa. Now, yung distance from the vertex hanggang doon sa may, hanggang dito sa may point kung saan dito sa point na to. Yan. From the vertex hanggang sa point na yan sa may curve, we call that the external distance. The point from the curve hanggang doon sa may gitna ng chord, we call that the middle distance or the or others, they call this your middle ordinate. Ulitin ko, itong M na to, um, we call that the middle distance or the others, they call that your middle ordinate. Okay? And since yung ating line that connects the vertex in the center of your curve, divides the intersecting angle, it follows that the chord is also divided or na, na, na hati yung ating chord sa dalawa. Okay? So, these are the elements of a simple curve. Meron din tayong tinatawag na degree of curve. So, for example, I'm going to consider this part of the curve. Yung part lang na yan. And the uh, Ang usual, sabi ko nga sa inyo, di ba, noon, sa so may stationing, intervals natin for uh, profile leveling is 20 meters, di ba? Stationing natin. The same with this one. I would just like to to look at this at this uh, part of the curve, yung 20 meters na yan. Itong angle na to, we call that your degree of curvature. Okay? 
20 meters ba man talaga ang ginagamit natin? Yan po yung ginagamit natin na interval as I've mentioned during our discussion on profile leveling. Okay? So, these are the elements of a simple curve. Now, if we try to open yung notes regarding the simple curve, may mga formulas doon na ginagamit to determine the station of your PC, your PT, the length of your chords, tangents, and the value of your radius. Now, paano ba nakuha yung mga formulas na iyon? Yun yung susunod natin i-discuss. So, for this simple curve, again, let's go over dun sa may mga elements ng simple curve. Paano ba nakuha yung mga equations na ginagamit natin for the simple curve under the horizontal curves. So, if we try to look, sabi nga natin, itong angle dito, yes, yung angle dito, that is 90 degrees, the same with this one, 90 degrees. So, if I would uh, like to look at this, uh, at this triangle, itong triangle na to, yung triangle na yan, so, let me draw it here. This triangle here. Okay. Itong point na to, that is my PC. This is my PI. As I've said a while ago, PI is the same as the vertex. Point of intersection yung PI. And this is my point O. That is the center of my curve. This is the radius. This is the tangent line. Okay? So, this is the hypotenuse. From, paano yung hypotenuse na yan? Balikan natin itong figure nito. From this point kay O, from this point kay O, hanggang dun kay may PI, itong line na to, yan yung hypotenuse ng ating triangle. But, pero, ilan niyang hypotenuse na yan? Kung mapapansin ninyo, from point O hanggang sa point na ito, iba itong distance na to, this is the same as R. Do you agree? Okay. So, the whole, the whole um, hypot hypotenuse of this triangle is R plus E. Okay? So, yan yung aking triangle. Na may kulang pa ako dito. Kung papansin ninyo, sabi natin kanina, since yung line that connects the, the center of my curve and the PI is... Um, hinati niya sa dalawa yung i. So, yung angle na ito, this is i over 2. So, itong angle dito, that is i over 2. Okay? So, from this triangle, applying your trigonometry, if I'm going, if kung gusto kong kunin si r, let's say given yung intersecting angle at saka yung tangent line, if I'm going to use uh, the trigonometric function tangent, the tangent of I over 2, yung opposite ng I over 2 is the tangent line, over your adjacent is R. Tama? So, my R here is equal to tangent line over the tangent of I over 2. Diyan po nakuha yung equation natin for the determination of radius for a simple curve. What if yung tangent ang gusto kong kunin? Again, from this trigonometric function, my tangent line is equal to your radius multiplied by the tangent of I over. So, ito ngayon yung equation natin for the tangent line. What if gusto kong kunin yung um, external distance or itong distance, itong value ni E? So, paano ko siya isusolve? The same, the same triangle. Let's look at this, the same triangle. So, from that triangle, let's derive or uh, gusto kong kunin yung value ni E. So, Ang gagamitin kong trigonometric function to solve for the value of E is I am going to use cosine. Cosine of I over 2. Cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse. 
The adjacent of I over 2 is R. Your hypotenuse is R plus E. Gusto kong kunin yung value ni E. So, may cross multiplication, that is R plus E, that is equal to R over cosine of I over 2. Gusto ko lang kunin si E. So, that is equal to R over cosine of I over 2 minus R. Or simply, I'm going to factor out R. That is equal now to 1 over cosine of I over 2 minus 1. This is now my uh, formula to solve for the value of my external distance. Okay. So, I have already my formula for the radius, the, tang the tangent line, and the external distance. Paano yung iba pang mga elements? How am, how am I going to solve for that? So, let's solve. Uh, tingnan natin kung paano na-derive or paano nakuha yung yung iba pang mga formulas na ginagamit natin or the uh, simple curve. If we try to look um, okay. let me just erase this first para hindi tayo malito. As I've said last and previously this angle here is I over 2 and ito yung from PC to PT, that is the chord. Tama? Since nahati siya sa dalawa, this distance is C over 2 from PC hanggang dito. That is C over 2. Maka 90 degrees ito, di ba? Obvious naman. So, I'm going to use this, this triangle here. Yan, triangle na yan. Let me just draw it here. Let me just show it again. Okay. Ito yung 90 degrees. Ito yung C over 2. This point here is my PC. This point here is my O. Now, do not forget PC to O, that is your radius. Paano to? Ano tong distance na to? Now, Balikan natin itong figure. Balikan ko lang ito. Kung mapapansin ninyo, itong distance na to, from this point hanggang kay O, what is that distance? Yung, yung from O hanggang dito sa may point na to, I'll name that point uh, Q. From point O hanggang kay Q, this is the same radius, tama? And from Q hanggang sa point na to, that is your middle ordinate, as discussed a while ago, right? Okay. So, yung hinahanap ko na distance dito is from this point hanggang kay point O. Itong distance na to, what is that value? Okay, tama? That is R minus M. Yan na yon yung gagamitin ko sito sa may triangle nito. That is R minus M. And again, do not forget this angle here is I over 2. So, if I'm going to use the function of uh, cosine of I over 2 is equal to that is adjacent of I over 2 is um, R minus M over hy uh, hypotenuse is R. Gusto kong konin si M. So that is R minus M is equal to R times cosine of I over 2. Therefore, my M is equal to R. R. Um, sorry cosine of i over 2 hmm. m simply uh, moving or transposing that is r minus r 
cosine of i cosine of i over k. Okay? So, factoring out rr that is now equal to 1 minus cosine of i over k. Okay? This is now our formula for the middle ordinate end. Diyan po, galing yung ating mga equations yung ginagamit natin. So, how about the chord? How are we going to solve for the chord? The same, the same triangle. The same triangle. If I'm going to use the function sine, the sine of i over 2 is equal to opposite that is c over 2 over your hypotenuse r. So, that is c over 2. That is equal to r times sine of i over 2. Or simply c or the chord is equal to 2 times r sine of i over 2. This is now our working equation or our formula for the chord of a simple curve. Diyan po, galing yung mga uh, equations na ginagamit natin. What if, um, how about the length of the curve? Pag sinabi kasi natin length, it does not, uh, dito nagkaka-problema karamihan ng mga estudyante regarding the length of a curve. So, how are we going to solve for the length of the curve? Yeah. Let me just erase this one. So, paano na solve yung length ni curve? Punahin natin mm, length. Pag sinabi kasi natin length of a curve, uh, dito, dito tayo sa, sa curve na to. Ang length ng curve na to is from PC, hang, you follow the this curve here hanggang kay PT. Yan yung length ng curve. Okay? Yan yung length ng ating curve. So, paano na solve yung length ng curve? Let me just draw it here separately para mas maintindihan natin o mas makita natin yung uh, pagkuha ng length ng curve. Okay. So, this is our curve, our simple curve. Ito yung ating radius. This is our intersecting angle, right? And this is the length using your um, arc arc length na napag-aralan natin during our um, geometry, trigonometry. So, if, uh, using your uh, we can use also the ratio and proportion. So, if that is an arc, let's use uh, the semicircle. Okay? Now, in di ba, alam natin lahat. This is a circle. The perimeter of the circle is 2 pi r. Tama? So, kapag semicircle, ang, ang perimeter nito is pi over r. Now, using ratio and proportion, we can solve for the length of this, uh, this curve or this arc. That is, L is to i. That is also equal to pi over r over ilang degrees ito? This one, ilang degrees to? Right? That is 180 degrees. So, if I'm going to solve for the value of my length, that is equal to um, uh, i multiplied by pi over r over 180 degrees. I just simply cross multiply this one para makuha ko yung value ng length ng aking uh, curve. Or, sabi nga natin kanina, if, you, if there is a degree of curvature, so, let's say, ang given, hindi siya, hindi yung intersecting angle ang given, but rather the degree of curvature. So, let's say, ang given is the degree of curvature. So, di ba, sab, uh, if the, for a degree of curvature, always, ang interval natin is um, 20 meters, right? So, again, using uh, ratio proportion, 
the length of your curve over the intersecting angle is equal to that is 20 over your um, degree of curvature. So my length is equal now to I multiplied by 20 over D. Now equating these two, since pareho naman na length ang pinag-uusapan dito. Equating these two um, equations, that is um, I, that is I times pi over R 180 degrees is equal to I times 20 over D. So, magka-cancel out si I. Tama. Um, let's say given yung degree of curvature. So, if we try to manipulate this um, equation, your R is equal to um, 20 times 180 degrees over pi. Let me just... Uh, write that properly. So, from here, our R is equal to pi R 20 times 180 degrees over pi times D. Uh, if you try to open some of uh, our references, yung Dito, equation na to, dyan po galing yung ginagamit natin uh, na input ko lang sa kabuti. That is 20 times 180 divided by pi. Dyan, uh, yung equation na nakikita ninyo sa ibang mga books na R is equal to 11.45 point nine one six over D Ito yung, um, itong value na to galing siya actually dito so I just presented to you yung mga equations na ginagamit natin uh, in simple curves so again we have the equation for the length of the curve for the uh, radius of the curve, minimum. Ito yung minimum na radius ng ating curve. That is 1145.916 over D. So, pag tinanong sa inyo, what is the minimum radius of a, of a simple curve? Ito po yung ginagamit natin equation. Okay? And, that's it. These are our working equations. Let's have an example for us to apply uh, formulas kung mga formula na na-derive natin from the simple curve. 